Good morning folks, Ron Ray here with Turning 65 Solutions and for today's video we are going to discuss something that we get asked on a regular basis here. All the videos that we post are based on the questions that we get from you guys uh, each and every day when you're in here uh, learning about Medicare and making selections for Medicare. So um, we, we appreciate the feedback and the questions and we love to answer those questions and get the information out to you. So one of the questions is does Medicare pay for urgent care? So if you don't know what urgent care is, it's uh, it's somewhere in between going to the doctor's office, scheduling an appointment for some date in the future, and going to the emergency room. So it's a little bit more urgent than uh, you've got a cold and you don't really have time to wait for an appointment, you know, several days in the future to go to your doctor, but it's not quite bad enough to go to the emergency room. It's like for, uh, you know, a severe cold or, or a, a minor injury, uh, maybe you twisted your ankle or broke your wrist or, you know, something like that that's in between a doctor and an emergency room. Some people call them uh, doc in the box. They're usually little standalone buildings um, in populated areas, or sometimes we see them in the little retail centers, little strip malls, uh, also uh, attached to big grocery stores, sometimes uh, near the pharmacies. Uh, if you've got one of those corners where you've got a Walgreens on one side of the intersection and a CVS on the other side of the intersection, somewhere near that intersection there is going to be an urgent care center. So that's the kind of place that we're talking about. You can go in, you, know, you don't need an appointment, you can walk in and uh, unless you have COVID um, this is, uh, you know, still August 2021, so COVID is still an issue. But if you don't have COVID, you can just walk in and uh, be seen by a doctor within usually a, a few minutes. That's the kind of thing that we're talking about. So the question is, does Medicare pay for urgent care? And the short answer to the question is yes. It's covered under Medicare Part B. Now, Medicare Part B is your medical insurance. It covers doctor's office appointment visits, um, outpatient services. So if you're not going to a proper hospital and being admitted to the hospital, uh, then it's Medicare Part B. Now, what that means is that you first have to have satisfied the Medicare Part B deductible, which in 2021 is $203. Now, that's annually, once a year, $203. And after that, you're responsible for 20% of the bill. So Medicare will pay 80%, you'll pay 20%. Now, if you have a Medicare supplement like a Plan G, uh, your Plan G is gonna pay that 20% for you, so you're actually $0 out of pocket, assuming you've met your 203 deductible already. If you have a Medicare Advantage plan, they usually have a copay for urgent care centers, something like $25 or $50 or $90 at an urgent care center. So very similar to what you might pay as a copay at an emergency room. So if your emergency room copay is $90, uh, your urgent care center uh, is not automatically by any kind of rule gonna match that, but it's gonna be close. It's gonna be more than a doctor's office visit, but usually a little bit less than an urgent care center. So the same thing, it's kind of in between. Now, here's the catch, here's the long answer. The short answer was yes, Medicare covers that. The, the long answer is as long as that provider, as that urgent care center accepts Medicare. Now we are seeing it more and more often. There's a large chain here where we're at in, uh, in San Antonio, Texas, that doesn't take Medicare. Okay, so if they have to accept Medicare, if they don't accept Medicare, then Medicare's not gonna pay for it. You can't send Medicare the bill and they cover it. They have to pay for it. Uh, initially. Now, another thing to remember is if you're on a Medicare Advantage plan, they have to not only take Medicare, but they have to accept that Medicare Advantage plan, or if it's a PPO, at least be willing to bill out of network. Okay, so the short answer is yes, Medicare covers those series, the, those services. The long answer is they have to take your insurance. They have to take Medicare. And if you're on a supplement, that's all. That's the only requirement. As long as they take original Medicare, they will take your supplement. Doesn't matter what company it comes from. If you're on a Medicare Advantage plan, they have to take that Medicare Advantage plan. And if they're not in the network, they have and you have a PPO, they have to be willing to bill that company out of network. If you have an HMO and they're out of network, you're on your own. They're not going to cover it. 
So that's Urgent Care Centers. There's a cool page right here on our website that discusses this in a little bit more detail. I'll leave a link in the video description down below. If you enjoyed the information in this video, give us a thumbs up uh, down below. That helps YouTube get this video out to other people who are searching for the same information that you were. And also uh, subscribe to the video so that you can be alerted when we upload a new helpful video. Again, all of the videos that we upload uh, put out to you are based on the questions that you folks are asking us every day here in our office. So uh, it's all very uh, timely and very relevant information. So until the next video, we hope you have a great day. Thanks, folks. Bye.